go! Greetings Pilgrims! Ian here with the Crafting MMO Salem from Paradox Interactive, and I'm going to be explaining to you the basic interface of the game, telling you what you can or really sort of can't do in town, at least initially. There are basically three things that you sort of can, can't do in town, and they are thus. You can right-click on these fellows, and they will offer to guide you out to where you can make a homestead, but you don't have any money, so it's really kind of irrelevant. There's no home. There's no money to pay them, thus you can't do anything with them. You can go through these doors. Basically, I believe you can go through any door that's level with your feet, but there's nothing to do in any of the rooms. I did see a basket that could be interacted with in one room. I don't know if a player put it there by chance, but in any case... Not too much doing in that space. And you can interact with these stalls, which, if you had anything to sell, would purchase certain items from you. Now, all of these items recur require certain skills, so there's really no, uh, no way to gain money from them at this point. We're going to have to gather some skills and actually make some of these items in order to bring them back and sell them at the stalls. And they can also sell items, but for the aforementioned reason, there's nothing to do in that department. And also, also, oh, let's just... Bong, 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 bada, bong, bada, bong, bong. All right, so as far as the interface is concerned, we have a character portrait in the top left reflecting your current gear. Uh, down here in the bottom left, we have some toggles that will display the claim on a particular piece of land. It, for example, you can see personal claims by clicking this one. We're not near any personal claims, so that doesn't apply. Uh, you can also see the nice mauve tone that comes over the city of Boston when we demonstrate the uh, excuse me town claim toggle. There's also a chat toggle that'll allow you to see recent system messages as well as the choke local area chat. We can expand that, expand that again and then close it down, of course, the map. And then we have some quick bars, which I found in the early game are not especially useful. That does change as things go on, but until you have tools and, and so forth, they don't, they don't do you much good. And we also have the inventory tab, equipment, studying, buddy list. I just said empty. The town controls, which doesn't apply to us because we don't have a relationship with the government of this town. And, of course, which I should have turned on long ago, the shadows option, which looks sexy. It's sexy like a beast. So let's take a look at some of these interfaces. We've got the inventory, a 16-slot 16, 16 inventory there. Where we're gonna Stuff we're going to forge is going to end up in this inventory. We'll be juggling that around a bit. We've got our equipment, which we saw in the first video. And, ooh, this one's a good one. we got the skills interface here. These are all skill values, and these are all stats that can be increased over time, and these are the degree to which you have filled up basically one of these stats through studying, but it's not quite as simple as all that. Those stats also go into buying skills in this section of the interface here, so there are going to be these named skills that can be added to your repertoire, 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 that's a little bit hard to say. All right, so what this is indicating is that you're going to need to fill up the frontier and wilderness skill to this point and the hunting and gathering skill to this point before you can buy survival skills. It's the only skill we can buy right now, so that's going to be our main quest once we get out on the road. I'll explain more about studying in a future episode, but for now, let's move on to the rest of the interface. Over here, we have basically some quick controls to get you to different different commands that have you have available at this time. It's really important to check this every time you add a new skill as well because stuff appears here. Nobody tells you. It's just there for you to explore. Exciting. So the one that you're going to be most concerned with at this point is travel because the travel is going to let you travel home. Of course, we don't have a home at this point, so that's not applicable to us. Or travel back to Boston, which is going to pop us back in the middle of town square, which means that unless you are trying to find something you left out in the wilderness, you essentially can't get lost. If you're just going out foraging, you can always zoom back to Boston, although there's actually little reason to zoom back to Boston before we get to the point where we're actually able to craft things that can be sold. So on that note, uh, just for the sake of completeness, let's just take a look at the rest of the items in here. There's criminal acts, basically toggling whether or not you can accidentally commit crimes or intentionally commit crimes for that matter. Destroy, dig, lift, repair, and tracking. And over here we have under movement, we can run, which actually does drain one of your, your stats. We'll be talking about that in a minute. And we have various climbing modes that um, allow you to prevent your character from falling from great heights or basically determine how they're going to behave around the edges of cliffs and that sort of thing. So and that brings us to our final and most humorous <laughs> of interfaces, the humors up here. We have blood, which, of course, is your health. 
We have phlegm, which is sort of your vigor or your ability to, to do activities such as running, crafting, and other things of that nature. We have yellow bile, which is related to attack, which won't apply for some time. And we have black bile over here, which is used to study and whatnot. So those are the stats. This is the interface. This has been part two of the Salem beta tutorial. Sort of think of it as a friendly guide from a dude who has been playing for about 10 minutes longer than you have. All right, until next time, this has been Ian. And in the next episode, I'm going to take you out into the wilderness, and we are going to forage for goodies. I'm going to show you what's important, what's not so important, and explain to you the different item types. So I hope to see you there. Cheers.